Welcome back to the channel everyone. In the world of work, the COVID pandemic has created so many challenges and opportunities. So in this video, I share with you one top penny stock, which has developed an innovative solution to enable healthier buildings and this is gaining loads of government interest and right now, the company has a huge backlog in demand for their products. And I know you must be asking yourself what healthier buildings are and that's what this company is about. So make sure you don't miss their management talking about this technology, their outlook and why this game changing solution could influence the way commercial buildings are constructed on the back of this pandemic. So a very, very interesting outlook. And please do me a favor to drop a like on the video as it only takes a second to do and it helps loads with the YouTube algorithm to get it ahead of other viewers. And YouTube stats also show that only about 26% of my viewers are subscribed to the channel. And so if you do end up enjoying this video, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on these big opportunities. And as we all know, timing is very key as we enter these bull runs. So there's a link in the description and the top pinned comment to my private discord, where we call these runners early and you get to join a strong 11,000 member community to help you in your investment journey. And if you're new or struggling, we can help you abundantly. So please check out the link and see for yourself. Thank you so much. The stock we'll cover today is Universal Prop Tech Inc. Ticket number on the OTC, UPIPF, UPIPF, and on the Toronto Stock Exchange, UPI, UP. It is now sitting at 20 cents per share with a market cap of $8.8 .8 million. So a very small cap penny stock, but at the same time, one which is very rapidly gaining investor interest. This penny stock has had a good run recently, being up 9% on the day and over the last 5 days. And yet today, it is still down 18.7% and showing some good signs of a bounce back following hitting year to day lows of 16 cents per share. UP is OTCQB listed with an average of 3,600 shares traded over a 30 day period and over 48.3 million shares outstanding. But what's equally interesting here is that the share volume over the last trading day, which is hitting highs of 67k, so certainly beginning to gain investor interest. Universal PropTech is a leading building innovation company, selecting, integrating, deploying and maintaining PropTech in healthy buildings. And as trusted advisors, they provide holistic evidence-driven solutions and services for building developers, owners and operators in Canada. But before we go any further, let's hear from their Chief Growth Officer, Frank Carneville, to bring to life their business proposition and their outlook. Well, Universal PropTech, uh, the company's been around for about 40 years. We have uh, two fundamental businesses we can talk to you about, but really it's quite simple. We basically take PropTech and innovation and we integrate it into HVAC, which is heating, ventilation, air conditioning. So we have this great uh, business does about $10 million a year, uh, Eastern Canada, um, no debt, cash on hand, available for growth. And we're now moving aggressively in the marketplace with some new investments in our underlying business. So what is the second piece of the business? What, who, what are some of these investments? So, you know, here we are making investments in growing this healthy building uh, prop tech model. Uh, and part of that, obviously it's timely with COVID, uh, is understanding how do you keep people out of buildings that really shouldn't be in buildings who have COVID as an example. Um, can you describe a bit more about what makes your buildings healthy buildings? Sure. Um, so there's a new reality with COVID. And even prior to that, you know, there's always been indoor air quality uh, challenges. There's the low carbon sustainability driving, you know, or, or sort of motivation globally. There's comfort management, there's energy savings. And so at the highest level, all of this is really creating a very healthy building, one that doesn't use more than it needs to. Uh, and increasingly because of COVID, there's a higher level, a higher standard of what type of air are you actually emitting in these buildings? What are you, are people getting sick from this air? Are people, you know, is it comfortable? So it's just really elevating what the traditional heating, ventilation, air conditioning model has been into a far more uh, significant one in the grand scheme of things within building operations. Definitely it's picking up. And so, you know, we're in Canada, we have most of our operations are Eastern Canada. Um, so what we've seen, and, and it's great for US viewers, what we've seen is governments in this marketplace have now been putting out more money to repair or improve or replace ventilation systems. Uh, you know, how do you clean the air with uh, air purifiers? 
So we're seeing much more of that. And we as a company have embraced a number of air purification technologies that are, you know, ultraviolet uh, germicidal technologies, bipolar ionization, all these really fun tools that ultimately make the air cleaner in a facility. And so when we start looking at all of the tools we have, um, absolutely every school board, every campus, every commercial building, every institution we've talked to know that that is paramount going forward, that they have an environment that, um, not that they were dirty in, in the past, it's just there's a level of surveillance, there's a level of, of uh, validation that you have to provide your tenants, your parents, the students, um, that's certainly far beyond what they've ever done before. And we're seeing a massive elevation of that in priority capital items as well. You'd have to look at this seriously, but clearly, you know, expanding the rest of Canada, expanding into the U.S. or clearly markets will be looking at for sure. And really getting access to that U.S. investor base is significant. We have a great story, you know, no debt, cash on hand, 10 million a year as a business. Uh, our, our clients are primarily governmental, so they're all credit worthy counterparties. So we really look to scale that and really explain our story to more investors. And that's really what obviously the OTCQB is about. And it couldn't be a more interesting story. No debt, cash on hand, and revenue generating at $10 million sounds a really interesting story worth watching as we can already begin to see their recurring revenues from the Canadian government. They announced a contract awards of approximately $1 million in service contracts and project work in building automation systems, BAS, in the month of September. And Chris Hazelton, their CEO, commented that they are very pleased that their BAS group had extended and renewed many of their service mandates with customers such as the Canadian government and through their facility manager. Service contracts lead to additional repair revenue and they continue to aggressively pursue project work from these sites and growing their install base to have a great start to fiscal 2022. And earlier this year, they also announced that they had completed an investment in ISBRG Corp for a minority interest and secured agency rights to their Spotlight 19 technology. And ISBRG is a data analytics company which has developed the Spotlight technology platform designed to generate comprehensive healthcare data non-invasively within seconds at nominal incremental cost per test. With Spotlight 19 being non-invasive, ISBRG is undertaking trials to determine efficacy in detecting COVID-19. In addition to its minority investment, PropTech will act as the exclusive sales agent for the Spotlight 19 technology and other future platform offerings for the government and education sectors in Canada. They believe that artificial intelligence, machine learning, big data and digitization and the cloud have enabled significant value accretion through real estate technologies, whether they be the elimination of existing costs in the sector or the improvement of design and operations in new build and maintenance of real estate assets. For a market growing at 45% growth rate from 2014 until today, they strive to continuously adopt PropTech innovations to remain competitive in the growing $217 trillion real estate market. And from a P&L perspective, whilst the company made a loss in 2020, you can see from the trend that that could have been a COVID-related blip. And so with no debt on their books, they are uniquely positioned to grow through increased sales backlog and additional acquisitions, which is said to benefit from the billions of dollars that will be spent in 2021 for grading HVAC and BAS in response to COVID-19. They also have a very experienced team led by the CEO Chris Hazelton, who is an experienced finance professional with more than 20 years of operational and advisory experience. So some very, very interesting and mind-blowing prospects I have for this penny stock, but only consider getting in if the price is right for you and if you fully understand the risk. This video is not financial advice, a buy or sell recommendation but it's meant to bring some new and exciting penny stocks to your attention for you to do your own research. And as always, I would love to hear from you. So please let me know your thoughts on this top penny stock in the comment sections below and what other penny stocks are catching your eyes lately. And if you're new to my channel, please ensure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please check out this video right here or this playlist right here to watch equally insightful content from the channel. Thank you so much for being here and I look forward to having you in my next video. Thank you.